and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started and tell you where I'm going and what I'm doing, subscribe. This is really important to help me grow this channel to keep traveling and... Hi, I'm Anna. In March of 2022, I decided to leave Vancouver after almost 10 years of calling the West Coast home in search of a more fulfilling life. Join me as I start my journey traveling through Europe as a digital nomad, discovering new places, living out my foodie dreams, while doing it all on my own. Well, not totally on my own, I have this camera and you watching, so grab a cup of coffee, subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's catch up on last week's vlog. Let's catch up on a little bit more. I spent 10 days in New York City, nine nights in Madrid, four in an Airbnb, five in a hostel. And in Madrid, I was able to see many monuments but experienced loneliness as I was unsuccessful in making new friends. I was also juggling vlogging full time for the first time while working as a digital nomad, but it was all made up for with the good food and it didn't discourage me from continuing to my next location. I'll get back to where we are. So we're currently sitting at Tocha Cercanas, AKA Otocha, a big train station where the metro connects, but also the trains to other cities and towns connect. So today we are going from Madrid to Valencia. I'm really excited to go, super sunny. I'm really excited to be going closer towards the water, maybe feel a little ocean breeze and just for a change of pace. It's been over a week since I've been in Madrid, which for me to travel in one location for that long is actually quite a long time. I love Europe for the purpose of these trains. The fact that you can go between towns with no car, with luggage, super easy in total this train ticket did cost me canadian about 90 dollars now i chose to select my seat because for me with my anxiety it just helps but it's not the cheapest i thought it'd be more like 20 euros which would be like 35 canadian that could be because it's a long weekend i booked it really last minute i booked it last week so about five days before so i wonder if you book it earlier and it not being a long weekend how expensive it would be just catching some sunshine i'm here really early so we're just gonna hang out to see which track we're on and they just announced that we're track sick. Time to go make sure I get in the right coach and the right seat, so let's go. Halfway through the train ride after a few stops I moved to a different seat where there was no one sitting next to me and there was a better desk space and a nice view from the window could put my laptop out thankfully this chick spoke English thank you for helping me out and she said it probably didn't really matter and if someone came around to check my ticket I had my seat still free Valencia, Spain. We are staying in the hostel. We're staying in the Rivers Hostel. It's a little bit older classic style hostel compared to the one in Madrid, which was very modern and had a lot more amenities. This one so far is clean. That's really all I ask for. There seems to be three Deutsche girls here. It is a mixed gender room, so we'll see who the next two are, but it's, it is what it is. It's small. It's tight corridors. I am sleeping upstairs tonight. Thank God there's a guardrail because I'm super worried about falling over. Very big containers for all our suitcases. It is a mixed human room. 
In about 20 minutes, I'm going to go join the live walking tour because why not? It's free. So far, just my walk from the train station. It's much quieter as well. It just is so nice to smell flowers and fresh air. I'm definitely noticing I enjoy more space and fresh air than the cities. So just something for me to keep in mind as I travel around that maybe I do need to visit smaller towns. What I quickly learned about free walking tours is they're never free, but they're tip based. So what this allows is depending on your budget or how well that the host or tour guide actually did the tour, you can decide how much money you want to spend. So our hostel was offering a free street art tour with a local guide. I really enjoyed this tour. It was really cool to see all the different artists in Valencia, the new work, the old work, the combination of the dance world combining with the creative world, combining with the breaking world, and also freedom of expression there is a larger queer scene in valencia there's our host our tour guide <laughs> and you can explore all the different graffiti it's all free to see and it just really makes the town vibrant and lush and people also use artists to actually paint the outside of their businesses if their shutter is closed this particular piece of work actually worked with an animator to add a technology portion. So you have to download an app and hold your phone up to it. Then the work comes alive. So here's a screenshot of what it looks like on your phone. It's kind of the coolest thing that this thing is popping out of the wall. And I do not know how it works. So don't ask me for the details of the technology. But nonetheless, so cool to bring this to life. And, you know, this visual that pops out of the wall. Following the street art tour, I joined some of the other individuals that were part of the tour, one from Belgium, one from Germany, a gentleman from the US, myself and our tour guide, and we enjoyed some Agua de Valencia. Basically, really strong orange juice. It's a concoction of a few different liqueurs and rich, rich Valencian orange juice. It was so good, but I must admit, after one or two glasses, whew, I was feeling it. What's refreshing is that you're actually using a camera. Yeah, how